Former Foreign Minister Giorgio says China is more likely to inspire a multipolar world than replace the United States as the dominant global power. But a distribution of power is not necessarily bad for the United States. Mr. Yeo argues that the Americans could extend their influence by acting more subtly on political, military, economic, as well as cultural issues. The current policy of identifying Russia as enemy and China as long-term strategic competitor shows U.S. determination to preserve its global dominance with the help of a Western alliance. I doubt it can succeed if it tries to do, to do this, even in the medium term. The danger is that the U.S. will exhaust itself trying to do this. Mr. Yeo was delivering this year's Gokeng Sui lecture on modern China. He argues that China has no ambition to become the single pole of power, as incorporating other people would affect its homogene homogeneity and governance. And since a multipolar world would benefit them, he is urging China to help usher in it it in peacefully. He suggests for the Chinese to be more generous in negotiations, for instance, with ASEAN over the South China Sea, instead of just meeting them halfway. It behooves China to act in a way over time to persuade the US that the kind of multipolarity which China envisages is also good for the US. Chinese officials should avoid excessive self-righteousness, and be less thin-lipped in responding to criticisms. I think a bit of humour will also help.